Last time you joined us a couple weeks ago, you made the case to be long ball. That was when the VIX had a 13 handle, with it now kind of more in the middle of its year to date range and still trading at a pretty substantial premium to realize. Also, with the SP 500 close to all time highs, do you still yeah. think that this is a winning trade? Yeah, I think it's still a decent place to uh, to be a holder of volatility. I'm, you, know, you mentioned the range. I think it's reasonable to think that this is a, a neutral stance um, from our perspective. Um, you know, the channel or the range has been roughly 1520 for the for the lower breakout and the upper breakout. Um, but we continue to think that there are monetizable events uh, for being long volatility that make today's environment different than say 2017. And then something you've also touched on recently is this idea of unicorn hunting season that these uh, recent yeah. IPOs won't do well. Obviously, since that time, things have gotten worse with uh, WeWork not yeah. even uh, going on a prolonged pause. That's never worked out well whenever an ex-girlfriend has, has made that phrase with me. <laughs> also, Peloton essentially not getting too well out of the gate there. Where yeah. do you see these reverberations showing up in public markets and for investors who hold these in the private portfolio? What are the sorts of things they can do to protect against this kind of calamity. Yeah, so the you know you, you mentioned a number of key components there. I think that um, the things that you can do are identify what you hold. So other publicly traded growth companies uh, have similar characteristics to some of these uh, unicorns that are getting released from the barn, um, such as let's use Peloton, for example, large company, relatively large uh, revenue stream, uh, profitability doesn't look anywhere on the horizon. Um, people who own large portfolios of publicly traded growth companies have shed some of that exposure because I think it's reasonable to assume that you're going to be getting some inventory coming out of the, uh, the private equity space of growth companies that might look a little more attractive. And then Matt, quickly now, can you speak to any recent changes in behavior and activity you're seeing in options markets? It seems as though, you know, put open interest in SP 500 is rebuilt very quickly after the last expiry. Yeah, so I think we're you know, coming into Q4 and looking into year end and beyond. Um, you know, there are a lot of concerning events. Um, maybe one of them is the nightmare of Q4 of 2018 that's most relevant. So a lot of investors, I think, are taking a little bit more of a cautious tone, um, particularly those with uh, compensation models that would mark them to market at year end.